Hi, I'm Katie at Barn2 Media and I'm going to show you how to use the Post Table Pro plugin to create a video gallery or a grid of your videos. Um, it will be a bit like this one on the demo site for the plugin where you can watch videos from directly within the table and um, I'm going to show you how to do it using two different methods by embedding a YouTube video which you can also use for other hosted video services such as Vimeo and I'm going to show you how to add a video directly uploaded to your website. I'll show you the different options for setting up your table of videos so that you can choose which columns display the width of the columns and that kind of thing. And at the end of it, you'll be able to create a really professional looking video gallery for your WordPress website. So let's get started. I'm going to go into the admin for my WordPress website and the plugin that you need in order to do this is Post Table Pro. So in Post Table Pro, we can see it's installed here and I'll put a link up on this video so that you can get that plugin. And once you've got that, then that's pretty much everything you need. You also need to think about how you're going to store your videos. You can add them as pages or posts, which comes with WordPress as standard, so under the posts or pages, or if you prefer, you could create a custom post type. And I've, got, I've created a video custom post type, which helps me to keep things organized because I have a dedicated area for storing my videos. So if you want to do that, then you can either do it programmatically if you're a developer, or you can use a plugin such as custom post type UI, which makes it really easy to create custom post type. And that's what I did to create my video custom post type. The first thing we're going to do now we've got Post Table Pro installed is to add our videos to the website and we will add two videos using two different methods before I show you how to then create your video gallery. We're going to go to video, add new. Um, you would do whatever works for your website. So if you're storing your videos as normal posts, you'd go post, add new and so on. So because I'm using a video custom post type, that's what I'm going to do here. And so I'm going to write video one. And in the main content area for my video post, this is where I want to embed my video. Um, the first method I'm going to use is to embed a YouTube video. And you can do exactly the same thing with other services such as Vimeo, um, but YouTube being the most popular, I'm going to do that. So this is a YouTube video, um, one of our other videos and I'm going to go to the address bar at the top of the page, uh, which you probably can't see on my screen, but you literally copy the address from the address bar at the top of your browser, so that's the address of the video, and paste it into your website. So it happened quite quickly then, so I'll show you what I did. I pasted in the URL, the address of the video, and that's literally just the YouTube URL with the video on the end. So if you view the video, that's what you will see in your address bar. I pasted it into WordPress and WordPress instantly converted it into a proper embedded video as you saw. So I'm just going to delete it and do it again because it happened so quickly. So I'm going to paste the URL and it literally embedded it straight away. And um, so that is going to allow me to create a column with an embedded video within my video gallery. I don't want to have any information with the video in that same column. So what I'm going to do is add a description in the excerpt box. And you can also have other fields. You can use custom fields or whatever you want to. Um, there's various ways of storing data in WordPress. So you can create custom fields. You can add it as an excerpt or whatever you want, really. Um, so I'm going to write, this is an embedded YouTube video. And because the reason I'm putting it in an excerpt and not in the main content area is because I want it to display in the table in a different column from the actual embedded video. And you'll see that in action in a minute when we create our video gallery. And so I've got this section, which will be one column, the excerpt will be another column. And I'm also going to show you how to categorize your video gallery. So let's select some categories. This is the standard WordPress categories, which you probably already know how to use. So you can select an existing one from your site or you can add a new category. 
So I'm going to select a category, maybe select a couple of categories, doesn't matter. You can also use tags and so on and all the usual WordPress stuff, um, depending on how you want to sort and um, display your videos. And then I'm going to click publish. So that's the first video I'm going to add. And now I'm going to add new again, and I'm going to add a second video. So video two. Now with this, I'm going to show you the other method, which is to have a video uploaded directly to your website. So to do that, we will click the add media button um, above the main content area. And what you can do is you can upload any sort of video file format, whether it's MP4 or whatever you're, you're choosing to use and you upload it to your media library in the same way as with WordPress images and so on. I've already got a video uploaded, so to save having to wait for it to upload, I'm going to use this one that I've already uploaded. And I'm going to click insert into post. You'll see that WordPress has already chosen it would be an embedded media player, which is exactly what I want. So I'm going to insert that and WordPress will embed that for me. Again, I'm going to type an excerpt into the box. This is a video uploaded directly to my website. And I'll select a couple of categories as well. There, and I'm gonna publish that. So we've added two videos, one embedded directly into the website and the other one embedded from YouTube. And like I said, it could equally be embedded from another piece of video software. The key thing is that the video shows as a proper watchable video within the main content area that we can see here. If you've done that, then it will work with your Post Table Pro video gallery. Next, we want to create our actual video gallery, which will display the two videos that we just added in a table. To do that, we can put it on any post or page or even within a text widget on your website. I'm going to create a new page for it. So to do that, I will go to Pages, Add New, and I'm going to call it Video Gallery. Now we're going to add a short code which will tell Post Table Pro to create our video gallery on the page. To do that, we will write open square brackets and then post underscore table and then a space. Now you can ignore this next bit if you're going to be putting each video as a blog post in the post section. Whereas if you're using pages or a custom post type as I am, then we need to add another section to the short code to tell Post Table Pro what we want to display. And we want to write post underscore type equals, and then you write the slug of your video. Um, if, if it's pages, then it would be page, or if it's something else like a custom post type, then you would need to look at what slug you used when you created that custom post type. And mine was video, yours might be something else. We're then going to write one more thing, which is short code equals, and then within quotation marks, true. The reason I've written that is because it tells Post Table Pro to display the videos as the actual video um, rendered into an embedded video player and not the URL of the YouTube video that we pasted earlier, for example. So it shows, it tells it to actually fully render that short code into a video. And then we are going to close the square brackets and publish the page. And once we've published the page, we can view it and have a look at the first draft of our video gallery. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's already looking pretty good. We've got four columns, which are the default Post Table Pro columns. We've got the video title, we've got the content, which has the embedded video player. And if I want to play that, it will actually work. It is a genuine playable video, as is the other one. We've got the author and the date. So it looks professional, but it's not quite the information that you probably would want to display in your video gallery yet. So next, I'm going to show you how to configure the Post Table Pro shortcode to include the columns of information you want and anything else that you want to change about it, such as you might want to make the videos bigger um, so that they take up more space and um, people can view them more easily because um, they're quite small at the moment. So we'll go through all that next. Back to our short code that we added a minute ago. The next thing I'm going to do is teach, tell it which columns I want to display. So at the moment, we've got title, content, author, date. 
that's not what I want. I would rather display my video in the left hand column, then the title, then the description of the video, and then maybe something else useful like categories. So that's what I'm going to do in this example. You can use the documentation for Post Table Pro to choose any columns you want and there are a lot of options. So have a look at the documentation and I'll use a popular example to get you started. To, we're going to write columns equals and then open quotation marks. Now we need to list all of the columns using the correct syntax that Post Table Pro will recognise so that it knows which columns to display. The first one I want to write is content. Now content is this box here. That you, this is where we embedded our video uh, a minute ago when we created our two videos. So by displaying content as the first column, that will make the embedded video appear as the first column. And I'm going to do a colon after that and I'm going to rename it because content, as you can see here, not very descriptive. So um, I'm going to write watch now. So if you put a colon after the column name and you can type um, the actual name that you want to display at the top of the column. So content colon watch now and then a comma. Don't put a space after the comma. You type the next column straight away with no spaces. And the next one is title. That's the title up here where I wrote video one and video two for my videos. And I'm happy with the phrase title, so I'm not going to put a colon and change the terminology, although you could rename that heading if you wanted to. I'm going to put another column and I'm going to write excerpt. Excerpt is the description that we wrote at the bottom of the page for each of our videos. And you may remember that I mentioned that I'd put that separately to the content because I wanted separate columns for the video embed and the description. And I'm going to rename excerpt to description because excerpt doesn't really mean anything to most people. So this will be more user friendly. And finally, I'd like to display the category. I'd only recommend doing this in real life if you have quite a lot of videos that you've d decided to divide into categories. If you've only got two, as in my example, then you probably wouldn't need to categorize them. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it because it's a popular way to structure a video gallery. And then we close the quotation marks and we're going to update the page and then have a look at it. So I refresh the page and you can see it now these are my four categories I just created. We've got watch now, which was the content column, the title column, which is my video titles. We've got the excerpt, uh, which I have called description, and we've also got category. Um, this is much more user friendly and you can actually filter by the different categories. So if you click on news, it will just display the news categories. You can reset it using the filter. You can also type into the search box to do filters as well. And you see how then it instantly sorted it for design related videos. So lots you can do with that. Um, and so I think this is much more relevant to a video library. But the videos are still quite small. If you are happy with that, that's fine, but I will tell you how to change the widths of your columns so that you can make the videos bigger if you want them to. Back to our short code. To control the width of the columns, we want to write width equals, and then open quotation marks again. And what you need to do is add numbers for each column that add up to 100, so 100%. I have four columns, content, title, excerpt, and category. So I need to write four numbers with col columns in between, which add up to 100. And I'm going to write 40, 15, 30, and 15. And then I'll close my quotation marks. So I've got one number for each column to indicate the relative width of that column. And they need to add up to 100%. And I will update that and show you how it looks. So we refresh our page to see the new version. I think it's still saving because that hasn't done it. And that is because I didn't put an S on the end of widths. So oh, sorry about that. You need to write widths with an S on the end and then you put the numbers in. And that's why it didn't work. If something like that happens, best to refer to the documentation and that will give you clues. 
So now I've entered the correct syntax, which is width with an S on the end. This has changed the size of the video, so it's now 40% of the width of my table. I chose the description to be a little bit bigger than title and categories because it allows me to have more text there and have a play and see what looks best. Finally, I'm going to give you one more tip, um, which would be useful depending on how you're going to use your Git Video Gallery. You'll notice that back on the gallery we created, the titles are clickable. So the categories are clickable to sort by category, which is fine, although you can disable that using the documentation if you want. And the video title is clickable to go through to the single page for that video. Um, so that's what our custom post type looks like. Uh, if you don't want to allow people to click through anywhere from your videos, then you may want to disable that link. So we'll do that now. Back to our short code, I'm going to write links equals, and then in quotation marks, we have a choice. If we write none, then it will disable all the links so that the categories are not clickable either. If we want to keep the categories clickable, then instead we're going to write links equals category. And that tells it that we want the category to be clickable. Um, so that's the category column we added there, links equals category, but we don't want anything else to be clickable. I will update the page and show you what that looks like and how that's changed our table. So we refresh the page and did you see what happened then? The links disappeared. So that allows you to have a video grid that does not have the ability to have separate pages for your videos. And you may want to do that depending on your video gallery. Now, there's loads more you can do with your video gallery. I've just touched the um, tip of the surface, really, with this tutorial and showed you some popular options for video galleries. But there are many more things you can do. We have very comprehensive documentation for Post Table Pro. Uh, there's a more in-depth video about how to use the plugin more generally. And we've also got um, detailed documentation with all the options. And that will show you how to change things like the sort order, go through all the different columns you can use. Um, so you can sort by various different information. You can choose how many rows of um, videos appear per page before you have pagination links. You can show or hide elements such as the um, show number of entries, the search box, the data at the bottom. You can move these bits to the bottom. There's lots you can do with it. So go through the documentation and spend some time setting up the table um, to create your very own video gallery that works in exactly how you would like it to. And I hope that is useful to you.